Hi guys, Dr. Nick here. So today we're going to continue our series on LDI low dose immunotherapy. And today we're going to talk about a little bit in more detail about the different types of LDIs available. Um, we've talked about them in the past a little bit, but we'll go into a little bit more detail because people always ask that question, what type of microbes are available through LDI or etc, etc. Because it's not just the microbes in LDI, but there's so much other things that you can actually make LDIs to. Um, so but we're, today we're just going to touch upon that. So I'm going to kind of run down a list in an indirect way just because I know a lot of people are, are more intrigued about what physical maybe uh, bacteria, fungus or different viruses are available. So we'll just I'm just going to tell you a couple of them that are available. So there's Campylobacter, there's uh, Clostridia, there's the Coxsackie viruses mixture, there's even a dental mixture from a, a dentist who put some, some things together in there. Um, we also have even come times of uh, vaccines or boosters. So even the D, uh, DTaP, the influenza viruses, which uh, mixture, which is over 20 years of the different viruses or different vaccines, as simple as that. A doctor had collected that over, like we said, 20 years. Um, we also, I think, have the MMR and uh, another one. Um, and then also there's the, in terms of viruses, HSV, CMV, uh, Epstein-Barr, HHV6, varicella. So there's a lot of uh, different viruses possibly available and even more in the future could be possibly available. Um, and then we also have even just, if you think about it, histamine and histidine for those mast cell um, sensitive patients who are kind of, um, they have a mast cell, mast cell mastocytosis, sorry. Um, and also then we have kind of the Lyme mixture, which is the big one. It's a mixture of all the different co-infections, but we also have that separately separated out by Dr. Tai, but in the Lyme mixture, there's over 74 bacterial species um, that Dr. Tai put together from the different co-infections. So, like we said, we also have separate out the co-infections, which is the Babesia, Bartonella, Borrelia, Coxiella, and uh, Ehrlichia. So we can give those separately if we think there's some specific symptoms that are direct to say to Babesia versus uh, Bartonella. And then we also have a mycobacteria, which is the AKA, we consider that the, the Crohn's mixture, just because there's correlations there. And then we have another mixture with uh, mycoplasma and chlamydia. Uh, we have even a parasites mixture, um, for if that creates an immune response. And there's even the rickettsia mixture. And then we have even for the skin overall, for eczema and different kind of skin conditions, there are specific bacteria towards that, which is the CFB, which is skin flora bacteria. I know that Dr. Tai has also made skin flora fungal mixture but with the bacterial mixture there's staph and strep uh, different kind of species of them and also there's I think pseudomonas and some other things and P. acnes too and some other uh, things in there that can work for different conditions of the skin so for eczema um, very mild for psoriasis I would say possible there's other triggers so maybe not not for every case but it can be helpful in, in different types of skin conditions um, even for acne especially too and then there's also the pk mixture which is the proteus and klebsiella that can be uh, helpful in different kind of uh, rheumatoid conditions possibly like ankylosing spondylitis is an example of one um, we have the strep mixture which is a great one for many different reasons it can you can think of it in terms of also from pandas to, to different kind of conditions where we see a lot of strep throat in that patient um, and then we also see uh, the bigger one, of course, is yeast, um, used for a majority of patients because of the, the different symptoms that it encompasses overall. And a lot of people have not yeast overgrowth, but it's an immune-mediated response against yeast. That's when you try to kill, kill, kill the yeast away. You bring down maybe the, the load for a certain while. However, it'll come back, and that's when you have to turn off that immunological trigger. Um, and then we also have, I think, anaplasma and yersinia. And then, of course, uh, uh, bacterioides, I think. So there's so many, it's so hard to go through everything and try to remember every single one that we have available. But then you can go into different categories, like we said, hormones. So you can go into estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, cortisol, thyroid medication, etc., 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 even DHEA, whatever you think is, uh, if we think there's something uh, creating an immunological trigger that you're sensitive to, we can do that. Um, and then you can go over into like different plastics if we think there's different plastics that you're reacting against that could be another example so anything that there's a possibility of it triggering 
an immunological response that's creating this dysregulation in the immune system or this hyperreactive response to that substance or material or microbe or whatever it is, we can possibly make an LDI against it. That's why sometimes we do um, autologous samples, so saliva, um, our feces, urine, even if you can take a skin scratchings. <clears throat> um, uh, those will be those are basic ones because sometimes if we don't know the physical trigger, the neurological trigger in terms of if it's a specific microbe, we can sample the area and hopefully within that area we can have the, that specific antigen or epitope of some kind to help to make an LDI against that and then give it to you to find your core dose. And a lot of times that can be very helpful for, for some patients when we get, and get stuck. So we go towards the autologous samples. So I hope that gives you kind of an overview of what the possibilities are in terms of the microbial um, LDIs that we just talked about, but also that there's so many other possibilities with LDI overall. So it seems like it's limitless. But overall, thanks for watching. Uh, continue to follow me so you can see more new videos of LDI that I come out with.